If you find yourself getting too emotional when singing, use it or ground it. So if we have, here I am, looking in the mirror. Let's say the emotions take over and you feel like, oh, sometimes it's very powerful. I'm gonna be a bad actor here, but just stay with me. Sometimes it can be very powerful to hear I am looking in the mirror. Sometimes stuff like that can work. Now, sometimes it can't. <laughs> some, some, sometimes it can't. One of the things you can do is ground yourself more firmly in your body. I mention this a lot, but if you bring your awareness to your solar plexus, singers tend to be very focused on the lower abs because they think that's where the diaphragm is. Also, that's literally not true. Your diaphragm, 360 degrees, wraps all around your rib cage. It kind of creates the floor of your rib cage in a sense. But up, up here, in the upper kind of quadrant or upper third maybe of your abs, the upper, you know, the upper triangle of the abs, that's really where it connects to the diaphragm. And so that's your solar plexus or the epigastrium. If you cough gently, <laughs> you can kind of feel that, right? So if we uh, can focus on this outward push of that muscle, I like to use S's and Z's and lip trills to kind of feel a very organic, what that feels like so that we're not bearing down on it, but here I am looking in the mirror. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I think of it like this. The solar plexus, if we can learn to tap into it and ground ourselves in it, feeling a firm connection to it, it's like holding on to a guardrail or like, a, you know, whatever, if, you're on a, if you've ever taken a train anywhere um, in, in a New York subway or Atlanta's airport, if you hold on, you know, the train is going to keep moving. Your emotions are not the problem, and I don't want you to see them as such. We just want to be able to steady ourselves in the midst of that storm. So use it or ground it.